seconds. Uh, so that's Ovia Teme uh, bringing his micro a microphone uh, to get to see that we can. Yes, we can hear you, uh, Ovia Teme. Please go ahead and um, have a chat with the former president. Every, every election period, you now you you have to control yourself now. Let's face it. Please, let's give him enough air. Yeah, let's give him enough space. Oh, give, that man space. give that man space. Give the cameraman space. Okay. So, so. <laughs> Excellency, um, every election period, you do this more like a ritual. After casting your ballot, you speak to the press, emphasizing on peace against thuggery and violence. Please, all the cameras are on you, sir. So what do you say about this and your expectations? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, first, let me congratulate uh, the three states that have elections today. Yeltsin State, uh, Imo State, and Ikogi State, and which all these states successful elections, peaceful conduct of elections. But basically, because this is an off-season election, and uh, I, I get worried about the issue of off-season elections, and I will use this unique opportunity to plead with the National Assembly that we need to block these off-season elections. It's a very odd, it's not a global best practice. A country can have, uh, can elect their people at different times, like America and some countries. They may not know everybody at the same time. But any time they go on to conduct their election, they elect everybody that's supposed to be elected. If we continue with this trend of off-season elections, based on the interpretation of our laws by the judicial officer, it will come to a time that the presidential election in Nigeria may be off-season. Probably that is the time that all of you media people and Others should be worried. Every look at the American system. Everybody knows when the American elections will be conducted. That's standard, standard practice in other countries. And when I say presidential election in Nigeria may be off season one day, some people may get to say, why, how? It almost happened in 2007 that I, con I contested as a running mate to late President Yaradua. You know that election, the seven justices that presided over the case, three of them, in their own judgment that election be annulled, four of them sustained the election. And that is why we stayed. If one has crossed over, by now the presidential election in Nigeria would have been off-season election. And it is not the best for a country. And there are easy things to do to make sure that other states, now we have seven states that are off-season. We need to stop there. And where possible, these seven states too can be migrated back fall in line with the other states, and the National Assembly can do that. That is uh, the, my message for the National Assembly, my message for Nigerians today. The other hand, I wish the election successful. I've been monitoring what is happening in Bayelsa State. I almost uh, ask people across the local governments, and for now, no major uh, things that we will get worried, apart from uh, the part of Nembe local government, the Basambri part of Nembe local government that have been in conflict for quite some time before the election. Uh, apart from that, I think uh, the elections are going on well, but we cannot conclude until at the end of the voting period. So once again, I thank you and I wish you well.